Okay, part two of this video is how to make a prediction using Desmos. We've already done the linear progression, uh, regression, and notice that we have the correlation coefficient r is 0 0.952, meaning that this is a this is a strong positive correlation. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to actually type we're going to actually type our regression. Uh, equation. I am going to round some things off. Okay, so instead of y1 tilde mx1 plus b, I'm going to go y equals, I'm going to use the m value there. I'm going to round it. You don't have to round it, but I like to. Uh, 7.5x plus b is 62.67, so I'm going to change that to 62.7. And as you can see, now my regression line is black. All right, that's the color I picked. So all I have to do in order to get another table, but I'm going to make my predictions by using a table. So I'm going to click, instead of the plus sign, I'm going to use this cog wheel here. And I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to click this convert to table command. Click convert to table. And that's basically it. Now, I have a free form table that I can just put stuff in. All right, so let's say I wanted to, let me get to the predictions here. All right, it's asking me if a student predict the final exam grade for a student who studies 2.5 hours. So all I have to do is go to the table and type in 2.5. And so if I put 2.5, I get an exam grade about 81. And that's it. Uh, what if a student studied for six hours? I just put a six. And notice that you get a 107. Well, since you can't get higher than 100, that means that student will get 100. Well, what if we went backwards? What if I know that a student got a 98? Would it tell me how many hours? Would it tell me how many hours? No, it won't tell me what how many hours it is. The best way for me to do that would be to go to the line here and find it on this line here. So um, let me go to this line. What if a student got a 98? How can I figure out how many hours they studied? Well, this time I'm going to go to another line and I'm going to type Y equals, let's see, where's my equal sign? Yeah, y equals 98. Now the calculator drew a line at 98. So if I click on the intersection, the x value is going to tell me how many hours she studied. So that's 4.7, so studied 4.7 hours. Okay, and this also works the other way. You know, like maybe uh, if I want to figure out if a student studied for, let's say, three hours, I could go x equals to three. Hit enter, and then I just go where x equals to three and look at where, and look at, and, and you will see that person is going to make an 85. So you can use x when you want to figure out what the score is based on hours, and you can use Y if you want to figure out what the hours is based on the score. So those are some different ways in which you can figure out, figure this out using Desmos.